Right, so Mark Gurman's given us a ton of tidbits about the Apple Watch Series 7 that I want to delve into. We have information about display upgrades, ultra wideband improvements, and some health upgrades being pushed back. And so let's delve into all of this, but first, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just tuck in. Right, so beginning with the Apple Watch Series 7, the first thing Mark Gurman mentions in his report is a faster chipset, and this really should not be a surprise because much like every other Apple product, we always get a new chipset with every new generation of the Apple Watch, and so yes, to no one's surprise, the Apple Watch Series 7 should be faster than the Apple Watch Series 6. Now do note, as per the norm, Mark Gurman does not give us any specific details, and so while we do know the next SoC should be faster, we have no idea by how much, and so yes, expect a pretty minor performance upgrade with the S7 chip, since the S6 was quite a major upgrade, and so I doubt Apple's going to give us another major performance boost within the space of a year or two. Anyways, moving on, the next thing Mark Gurman mentions is the improved ultra wideband connectivity we should see with the Apple Watch Series 7. So in case you don't know, the Series 6 does have the U1 chip, but I'm assuming the Series 7 could gain the abilities that AirTags have. So for example, the precision finding feature with AirTags that gives you the green UI and the precise location of the AirTag, I think that's going to be implemented with the Apple Watch Series 7. Now, I do want to mention that I did find it pretty odd that Mark Gurman talks about connectivity improvements with ultra wideband and yet mentions nothing about 5G because we actually have heard quite a few rumors about 5G coming to the Apple Watch. And it does kind of make sense because we've seen 5G on the iPhone and now the iPad. And so I kind of figured the next product to get 5G would be the Apple Watch because you wear outside and people do have the cellular versions of the Apple Watch. And so the addition of 5G might be a nice upgrade, though at the same time, I can imagine 5G absolutely obliterating the battery life of the Apple Watch. And so maybe they're gonna wait till they can get their own modems in these Apple Watches, which will be way more efficient than the Qualcomm modems they have in the iPhone and the iPad. Anyways, moving on, let's talk about the design, since Mark Gurman gives us a few tidbits about that too. So the first thing Mark Gurman says is that we should expect thinner bezels with the next Apple Watch. And guys, I know they're just bezels, but I do feel like the bezels on the current design are a little chunky, so I would actually appreciate this change. And also Mark Gurman says the body is getting thicker, though he does not mention why. But he does say this will be a very, very minor change, and so I doubt we're going to see any battery life improvements because of this additional thickness. He also mentions a new lamination technique that should bring the display closer to the front cover. Though to be honest, when I had an Apple Watch, I never noticed a display gap, and so I'm not sure whether users would notice this change or not. But of course, at the end of the day, it is an improvement, and so I will gladly take it. Though again, much like 5G, Mark Gurman also mentions nothing about the flat-edged redesign that we've been hearing about from other sources, and that's pretty odd to me, because why would he not mention that in this report about the Apple Watch upgrades, considering a flat-edged redesign to the Apple Watch would be pretty massive. And so yes, it is certainly interesting that Mark Gurman mentions nothing about this, and now I'm sort of worried the redesign isn't happening. Now, I don't want that to be the case because the Apple Watch does need a redesign. It's been three generations of the same exact design, and it's getting a little stale, and especially with the iPad and the iPhone and the new Macs all going for this flat edge design, it would be nice for the Apple Watch to follow suit. Anyways, let's move on to the health upgrades we were expecting with the Apple Watch Series 7, which apparently have been pushed back. Now, the first feature was a body temperature sensor, and this apparently has been pushed back for the 2022 Apple Watch. So the Apple Watch Series 8 
should get this feature instead. Now, Mark Gurman does not explain why this is the case. He just says, hey, it's not happening this year. So yeah, there's that, I guess. We won't be seeing that feature with the Apple Watch Series 7. But the next health feature could have been pretty massive, and that is blood glucose monitoring. So this essentially gives you a non-invasive method of measuring your glucose in your blood. And this actually would have been a game changer because right now you have to prick your finger to get a measurement using one of those blood glucose monitors. But the Apple Watch method would have been way easier and way more convenient because all you need to do is press a button on your watch and it should automatically measure your glucose any time of the day. And so, like I said, that would have been a game changer. However, according to Mark Gurman, the feature is just not ready for commercial use for at least the next several years. So yeah, we won't be seeing this feature anytime soon. And that is a real shame. But that is a sad reality of this technology because obviously the tech itself is very premature and then putting all that tech into a watch, that's another hurdle. And so I can see why it's going to take a few years. Anyways, let me know in the comments below, are you going to be buying the Apple Watch Series 7? Anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. For the latest Apple news and rumors, check out the video in the icon above about details regarding the iPhone 13. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.